first pregnancies are a roller coaster for first time mothers. Everything's new, every health update along the way is met with excitement as well as anxiety. But what happens when you get unexpected news that something might be wrong? This is Jennifer's story. My first trimester was really easy. At 15 weeks, I was desperate to see what the baby looked like. So I went to one of those 4D ultrasound places. He walked in and said, there's something really wrong with your baby. That's when the world just turned gray. They said that if he survives, he may require 24-hour nursing care for the rest of his life. He may never control his bowels or speak, walk, crawl, feed himself. Felt like in a loss that I can't quite articulate. My natural question was, have you ever seen a case where a baby defied the odds? And she looked at me and said, no, I haven't. My baby deserved a chance at life, whether it be five minutes, five days, five years, or 55 years. If you give it to God, you don't know what can be healed in the womb. And so I would talk to my baby every night and tell him this doesn't have to be your story. Your story can be rewritten. In my seventh month of pregnancy, they wanted to do another fetal MRI. There's a picture of his first scan next to his second scan. Everybody sort of sat around and was like, wow. His brain had healed itself to a degree, but not to get too excited yet because we were not out of the woods. When he was delivered, there were 23 doctors in the room because they didn't know what to expect. The nurse kind of held him sideways on my chest. The top of his head, it looked like a motherboard was just like vain. It looked like live wires. They told me that he had to have surgery in the next few hours. I saw him wheeled away as they were sewing me up and there were those lingering thoughts. What if he doesn't make it through surgery and that was the only time I'll ever get to see him alive. In a doctor's exclusive, please welcome from Bravo Southern Charm, Jennifer Snowden to the show. And <laughs> Jennifer, obviously watching that tape piece, that was about four months ago and it truly ended in a cliffhanger for us. So I'm just gonna ask you, how is your son Asher doing? My baby is my hero, and he is great. He's hitting all of his milestones. So. Yeah. Um, give, give babies a chance to live is the lesson that I learned. Give God the chance to heal your baby and trust yourself and your intuition and ask questions and hope for the best. Looking at those images side by side where as non-medical people, if you look, you can notice in the image on the right, yes, Asher's protrusion. brain is literally protruding yes. from the skull and then miraculously, and that's why I know you call him a miracle. In the next photo, I don't know how far apart those were, I the brain has it. gone back into where it's supposed to be. Right. Um, and I asked the physicians if just what we're looking at is possible. and. Um, they explained no. And so when we went in for the second fetal, or fetal MRI and we're looking at the scans and it showed exactly what I'd been praying for, I kind of just wanted to stand on the table and be like, ha ha, you know? <laughs> well, I have a question. <laughs> Who wants to meet baby Asher? For sure. Let's bring him out with his grandmother, Nancy. Thank you. Aww. Hi, Asher. Asher has been through so much, and we wanted to make sure that Asher had a little outfit to remind him of everything he's been through. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll pull it out since you have your hands full, but a little. Oh, thank you. A little onesie for you, Asher, okay? <laughs> we're, we're just, thank you. We're just so happy that you're able to share this 
happy ending with us. And, and thank you for giving me the platform to do that. And thank you all for your support. Thanks a lot.